Hey guys, today I wanted to invite you to come with me out to Amazima. So let's hop in the car and go see where it all got started. So first we're gonna head out to Buzika. That's kind of where our ministry all began. For me, it was always just about like walking through the doors that God had opened. And he happened to open one to Uganda. And then he continued to open doors to love and serve people in different ways. And really, that's how Amazima was born. It was never a vision for this grand ministry. I never could have imagined any of the things that we're doing today. It was really about just seeing a need and seeing a person in front of me that was in need and asking myself, okay, how would God have me meet this need? And do I have the ability to meet this need? And if so, I believe that it's my responsibility to try to help in whatever way I can. And as I came to really love these children and cherish them and want to be their friend and get to know their stories, I came to find out that most of them had family members. And I started asking a lot of questions around, you know, why, why don't you live with your relatives? Like if they love you and you go and visit them and they get excited to see you, why don't, why don't you stay together as a family? And the answer across the board was almost always because of financial reasons. People couldn't afford for their kids to go to school. They couldn't afford to feed their kids three meals a day. They couldn't afford medical care if their child was in a medical crisis. And children at the orphanage were able to receive those things through the orphanage program. But in most cases, these parents had given their child to an orphanage or an institution because they truly believed that that would provide the best life for their child. So within the first year, we had identified 40 students that we were able to raise sponsorship for. I remember very vividly the first day that we sent those 40 first children to school. I all gathered together in my little compound and we prayed and sent them off to school. And for some of them, you know, they were 14, 15 years old and it was the first time they had gone to school or it was the first time they were going back to school in many, many years after being out of school because of lack of finances. And so they were just so excited and all their parents and guardians were so excited. And so I think that felt like the first really major win for us. So now we are entering Amazima's piece of property out here in Buzika. We originally had just a fraction of this little piece of land and now it is quite large. We wanted to create a place where they would feel peace and where they would feel safe to connect with their mentors and our other staff. And I mean, when we first met here, we were probably 80 kids just packed together under a tree singing worship to Jesus. And to be out here now when this place is full, there are kids everywhere. <laughs> and you see their mentors sitting in different spots and talking with them and engaging with them and playing games with them. And I feel like so many times I've stood and just looked out and thought, wow, God, I can't even believe what you have accomplished here. Like just to watch these kids and to see the way their lives have changed and the way their person has changed because of Christ and what he's done in them is such a beautiful picture of God's faithfulness. Amazima School. We opened about two years ago. We're in our second year operating. And the idea was just that we felt like at this crucial relational time when our kids were 13, 14, 15 years old, we were sending them off to boarding school and really losing some of our relational capacity with them. We weren't able to see them as much. There's only one visitation day per semester. They were also a lot further away from their parents. And one thing we are really wanting to work on here is family preservation. It's just been really amazing to see all that God is doing here. You know, we've gotten to really handpick our staff intentionally as people who will disciple these kids and not just teach them their subjects, but teach them the word of God. And God has blessed us with really amazing staff here um, that are just transforming these kids' lives by loving them day in and day out. But the thing I look forward to the most, I think, is seeing these young people go back into the communities that they came from. 
and, and being transformational there. I just imagine the kind of leaders that they will be, these people who know Christ, who are courageous and bold in their decision-making, but who also are servants and want to serve the people around them and want to lift up the people around them. And I just can't wait to see how they will go out and transform communities. I mean, I have so much hope for each student here that as they go out and change their little pockets of the world that God gives them and as they step out in obedience to serve Him, um, just what, a, what an amazing change that will be for whole communities here.